Good morning, uh, Gorangies are on view again for our sale on Monday the 9th of September. Autumn is sort of slowly approaching but we've still got plenty of gardeny sort of items for you, including this um, circular composition stone table with the benches. Lot 889, that's a little two to three hundred pounds. Got a hole in the middle for your umbrella which I guess soon will be to keep the rain off rather than the sun. But there we are, it's, it's nicely weathered so it won't mind getting wet. What else have we got? Well, we've got a rather good sale for you, if I say so myself, this week. Uh, there's a little club fender down here, we're walking past a uh, wrought iron one. That's in at two to three hundred pounds with this sort of button top, not a bad thing. We've got a, a mix of sort of ethnographical, we've got this sort of decorative figure here. This is got 840. And then otherwise, a few more garden benches, some bottom of Chesterfields. Rather nice Japanese screen right at the back of the room there. That's in at sort of six to eight hundred, I think. It's a rather smart piece. And then otherwise, looking around the room, uh, this is nice with wings and chairs, various other bits of seating furniture. If you're after something more modern, we've got these uh, chrome and leather chairs, got 872, they're in the modest £30. Um, and they've sort of got that slightly sort of 50s look to them. Um, and, and if you don't have a bike as yet, most people do it seems these days, but I suppose they're battery powered ones, then uh, this is um, the, the Cambridge Organic Gardener, presumably no longer um, using this one, perhaps he's upgraded. And uh, so this is in the sale, um, with basket, you get plenty of organic vegetables in there. And uh, amusingly, I like this, it says the Organic Gardener, but we, we've said it's a butcher's bicycle. Um, maybe they do it meat, the Organic Gardeners, maybe they're vegans, I don't know. Anyway, it's at £150. A um, bit of fun that, yeah, great fun, nice little decorative item as well. So in the smalls, what else do we see here? Well, running down, nice Cellini pattern you were there. That is silver plated I'm assuming, otherwise it wouldn't be here. And uh, that's in at a modest 80 to 120, the classic model that often seen in silver. And we've got some nice, our, our man from France who comes over has brought us lots of nice art deco pieces such as this little Bronze Panther here, lot 12, another 150 to 200. You'll see elsewhere things like this stylish French clock set, you know, the 100 pounds. And again, over here, this uh, group of deer that's uh, in at 80 to 120. So a whole run of those running throughout the auction. What have we got here? Courvoisier brandy, that's a nice size bottle, there we are. That's lot eight, in at uh, 80 to 120. Uh, down the line, a bit of porcelain. We don't look at porcelain very often. No one seems too much these days, but these are rather smart. So dessert service. It's by Minton's. I can see a few damages here and there, but still nicely decorated. And uh, there's a lot ticket on that sum. So we've got a lot four. There we are. In at two fifty to three fifty. So uh, there we go. Something else to look at. And then let's have a look at the silver. Roger's been quite busy again. He's got about fifty or so lots of silver, and then about seventy lots of jewellery. Inside here, a whole range of items from the modern to the antique. Of course, gold is still flying up. Um, there's a sort of showy little cluster ring there, lot 721 in at 50 to 70 pounds. Something a little bit older, this Victorian brooch there, that's um, in at two to three hundred. And then going over to the other jewelry cabinet, lots of rather swanky cufflinks here, um, inlaid with the. Uh, where have we got on there? I've my specs off, can't see anything anymore. Transjordan, Transjordan Railway it looks like, how unusual, Transjordan Railway thing says um, nice little ring there with a stamp case and what have you, a little half sovereign lurking about, smart little dress watch here, Rita by Tiffany and Cohen at 150 to 200, so good mixture there of jewellery, over the back, well the shelves are nice and full there with, with lots of, sort of Asian works of art, mostly sort of Chinese porcelain, some good rummage lots of jewellery, um, that looks like a sort of classic Minton model but is it? Teapot and cover, we say. It's in the manner of the of the Minton one, and then we've got paperweights, glasses, quite a smart little watch movement mantle timepiece there in formalu. So all sorts of bits and pieces there. And then let's have a look down the line here. Well, nice crocodile case there. Uh, some rather, some lacquerware. It's very smart, not especially old, but very high quality Japanese lacquer. Basket there, that's lot 176 in a two to three hundred pounds. All sorts of curios, bulkhead timepiece. Uh, we've got the last of our collection of steins in the cell, so there's several lots of groups of steins of various decorative appeal. 
the uh, oyster bucket there. There you go, keep your oysters in that. Uh, lot 76 in a 3 to 500. Looks to be a George III model. Perhaps had some work to the strap work, but um, don't see too many of those. So that's quite a nice thing. We like this. This is a sort of curious, uh, perhaps Aboriginal. It's a bit like a spear throw or something similar engraved with this. Very Aboriginal like carving there. Lot 75. We say Polynesian or Aboriginal staff. 1 to 200. Very speculative estimate there. And down the line, these rather smart art deco plated entree dishes, more of these little stylish bronzes. There's one of a, an ink stand there, it should be that way around, there we see it. Got 96, 50 pound estimate, there we go. Uh, a bit of Black Forest, the uh, Prussian Eagle there, lot 98, 30 to 40 estimate, very modest. And then around the corner, as I say, good lot of smalls here. I think we've actually got 400 lots of smalls, so. Um, Plenty here to uh, come and pick through. Nice smart on the mantel clock there in a bull work, lot 112, modest estimate 150 to 200. And we've got Heron there, Heron's always popular. Um, Cloisonne, Chinese porcelain. Here's a little Brangwin print. I think we've got four Brangwin etchings in the sale. This is uh, the uh, Beggar Musician, signed in pencil there, in at two to 300 pounds. Further down, Chinese vases in here should we find it oh look harley davidson barbie doll not to miss out on this this remarkable collection of barbies we have in the cell we've beautifully placed the label right over barbie's face so we can't see it oh well mine will sort that out later so uh, should you need a harley davidson barbie you know where to come i've seen two or three lots of these magnifying glasses with assorted how handles sort of scattered about the sale round here some so there's the big there's the one of them bigger Brangwind etchings there, it's a good size that one. It's in at less money, it's in at 1 to 150, but it should make a bit more, it should make nearly sort of 300 pounds, I would have thought. Nice hall lantern, like that, it's a good one, obviously you need the right space for it, but in at 150 to 200. And then, here, well, that's a big geode, isn't it? Wow, look at that. That's, um, it's in at 60 to 80 pounds, got 196, amethyst geode, huge, very nice, oranges. Nice tray there, some, some shell lamps. That uh, has in the hall pattern tea services. There's more of the microscopes I was telling you about. Then we also have the contents of a, uh, a rather smart apartment in Chelsea has come in, including a number of paintings by people such as Robert Katz. And uh, we'll be picking up on those as we go further around, such as these. These are George Paddington's Canadian painters, sort of contemporary or near contemporary. A uh, number of those bought for very strong money from, from some galleries out in Toronto. Um, but in here at sort of more decorative prices, around about the three to five hundred each. Uh, others by artists such as John Paul, who went through the Foss Gallery quite often, and um, Robert Ferruzzi's whole host of things. Really. Robert Roland Strasser again, another Canadian artist, I believe. Um, painting, I tell a lie, Austrian artist, but very interested in these sort of Chinese and Tibetan subjects. Uh, totally different route here. Look at this big heron tea service tea and dinner service i guess that's a very smart looking service uh, it's in a, a modest two to three hundred i'd be surprised if that goes out the door for anything less than about five six hundred um, but there we are it's there to be sold and there's more more of a similar service over that side so uh, plenty of heron at the back there we've got unusual we don't usually sell electrical goods but these are rather high end the bang and olison stereo and the low um, television also in the sale along with those aboriginal staffs all came from the same um Chelsea apartment. Uh, some, some slightly higher art, should we say. These are Ron Ossery, Ronald Ossery Dunlop oils. One, two, three in the sale, always popular. Um, and those are in at the sort of, this one's in at four to five hundred. Same again there, this should be the right level. We had a few a week or two ago that went very well. So, into the main room. And our furniture's looking quite smart, if I say so myself. Very good. Um, Baker's rack here, really nice solid example. This is uh, lot 913 and at four to six hundred. And uh, yeah, good looking example of one of those. Big oak bookcases. And a large number of um, Banksy type uh, prints um, that have come in from a charity and, and they can't really sell them because of the nature of the prints, which are a little racy for some people's taste. Poor old Queen there getting a. Uh, a reworking of the original Sex Pistols cover. Uh, the artist is called T-Watt, um, and there's a whole group of these prints. We've got Love Cake there. That's quite fun, isn't it? Like that summer? Mm, lovely. Right. Yeah. We've got the sort of Mr. Man in the, in the Riot Police. I mean, they're very much influenced by Banksy. 
Um, and um, there's a whole host of these. There's about 12 lots of these, including one original, which is this one. There we are, stenciled with spray paint onto cardboard but, and signed by the artist. That's at a four to six hundred. The other groups of prints are in at less money. Um, and this, this is someone else, this is similar to T-Wax. This is D-Face, apparently. Uh, the sort of Che Guevara inspired work. That's in at 50 pounds. So, mixture of those for you to look at. Sitting on this a range of, of dining furniture, the Rosewood breakfast table, the 50s tea table, and the oh, late Victorian mahogany table. Nice set of nine chairs around here, sort of Regency chairs. Very good pair of French club armchairs, these sort of 1920s to 30s, got 926, in at 6 to 800, nice little motif there, and they still seem to be popular. And of course, years ago, this would have made oh, 2,000 pounds or more, uh, lot 920, but um, tastes have changed, it's now in here at three to 400, very nice quality painted satin wood, um, lot 920, as I said. So we're coming to the end here, if you need to move house and you haven't found a house to buy, you can buy this and move into it, it's absolutely enormous. It's a, a German Schrank, their word for an armoire or wardrobe, as we would say, and uh, nicely carved, uh, in at five to eight hundred pounds, so um, quite, a, quite a striking piece of furniture, should you have room for it, as is this, and this weighs an absolute ton, I'm told, by the poor old chaps that brought it in. Uh, this is lot 968, it's carved oak dresser, we say, it's a hybrid in term of form, carved along the bottom saying, in ye year. 1683 of Grace. Uh, I'm not entirely convinced that that is the uh, genuine date for it, but it's, it's great fun. It's probably mostly, sort of, I think it's reworked timber from 17th century and then with 19th century embellishment. Smart pair of lamps here. A few of these pairs scattered through the sale. I'm looking for the ticket. I can't find oh, the ticket. But 311. 311. There we go. You can see it even if I can't. Um, there's uh, some others over here. These are rather good. And then what's happened here? Uh, we've had an injury, we've got a broken back foot on this chair, but a smart pair of chairs here that have been beautifully restored using sellotape, uh, apparently. Um, oh, we put them back there like that, but there we go, those are other smart club armchairs. One damaged foot, please note, in at six to eight hundred pounds. The lamps I was heading for, there they are, three to four hundred a pair with these sort of high-end shades to them. And there's a whole host of other things for you to look at. Lots of rugs, we didn't do so well on rugs last week, so... We're looking for some rug buyers, hopefully. Uh, taxidermy here, portraits of children, clock sets, cloisonne, garden furniture, good pair of urns through the back there. I'm told the man that brings the urns in, these sort of glazed ceramic ones, is coming to the end. So um, last chance to get in and get some cheap garden urns. So yeah, it really is all here. It's a really good sale. Come along and have a look. On view today, Friday. On view Saturday till one. Sale starts at 10 o'clock. David will be here. Very happy to take your bids. Thank you.